Can video games be considered art? Is it even a question? Why are people even asking this question? The sad fact is many people just think video games are a fun distraction from today's world. But truly, it is a way for people to express ideas in an interactive medium. You may be thinking to yourself, why are video games considered art? Isn't it just something where you just pick up a controller and you go and you play and you stay in your mother's basement forever? In the same way that a two-year-old draws a picture of Iron Man, I don't believe Bubsy 3D would be considered art. I believe when real passion is put into a project, no matter what project that is, it can be considered art. It doesn't matter if it's a book, a movie, or a video game. You may not believe me, and that's fine. I'm going to show you some examples of how video games tell stories in different ways from books and movies. One ginormous way that video games outrank every other form of art is the interactivity of the medium. And there is no video game company better at doing this than the company that is called Telltale. Basically, what they do is they make a playable movie where your choices decide the outcome of the game. So let's say you're playing the Walking Dead game. It starts off with a man in a cop car going down the street talking to a police officer in the front seat. You don't know why you're there, you don't know how you got there, but you're there, and then about two minutes in, the car crashes and there's a zombie. Instantly, you escape the zombie, and you find a little girl scared in her treehouse. This is after some time walking around the town and trying to figure out what happened. The rest of the game is you trying to find this little girl's parents who abandoned her and ended up dying. But in this game, everyone you talk to, everyone you meet, every interaction you have with a different character who is not you, you get to decide what you say. This aspect of choice is very important to video games, and this is why I personally believe it is art. This lets the player really put themselves into the character that they are playing as. This makes a thought-provoking idea of a game. And art is supposed to be thought-provoking. It's supposed to make you think. It's supposed to make you rethink what you thought was right. The best example of this from The Walking Dead Season 1 game is the ending. In the end of the game, the main character you've been playing as was bitten by a walker, and you have to decide to kill the main character as the little girl, or to handcuff him and let him turn into a zombie. This brings up an interesting question for the player to answer. Is it better to die and let the pain stop, or let them live, but let them live in pain? There's not another medium that would let the player choose what outcome they want. Art as a general rule is supposed to affect life. Art should have an effect on your daily life if it's influential enough. And there is no other medium of art that is more suited for this than video games. For this example I'm gonna pull from some personal experience that I've had throughout my life. The game that I will be representing in this section of the video is a game called Team Fortress 2. Now at first glance this game would not seem like art at all because, well, one of the most famous lines from this game is this. Then he used his fight money to buy two of every animal on earth. And then he herded them onto a boat and then he beat the crap out of every single one. It would seem that this game is focused more on comedy and it is. but. It's not the story that makes it art in this case. The way that this game is art is by its gameplay and its community around that gameplay. You may be thinking, how does gameplay make it art? Well, as I said before, art is supposed to have an effect on your life. And I've played this game for over a thousand hours, and I've owned this game since 2007. This game has taken up an immense part of my life, and I love this game to its core. It does have flaws though, but every work of art also has flaws. If it's the gameplay that starts you on this path, it's the community that keeps you on the path. People are out there, just like me, who genuinely love this game and genuinely wanted to see it 
become perfect, which everyone knows is impossible, but if you don't strive for great things, great things will never happen. Many people love this game as much as I do, and that's what makes it art. This shows the amount that this game has affected many people, and it affected many people, so that's what makes it art. And the weirdest part about this game is the story is not in the actual game. It is on online videos on the official YouTube channel called Team Fortress 2. So the three ways that this game is art is its gameplay, its comedy, and its community. And that's enough for it to be art, in my opinion.